Good day guys. So today I am doing an adult diaper review on the In Control Essential Briefs size medium. And just to let you guys know beforehand, I know I'm going to get a restricted rating on this video because I'm actually wearing the adult diaper in video, but I do wear adult diapers for medical reasons and I just do these reviews to help people out to find the right product that um, performs well and fits right for them. So by me wearing the product and actually using the product, you can see the durability of the tapes and how the product holds up. And I think it's just easier to show that on video rather than just to explain it. I could, I probably will in the near future, throw on a pair of like leggings underneath and just, you know, put a clean diaper on. Uh, you know, that would probably avoid the restricted rating, but I think it's, it's if you guys just sign in, you have an account, unfortunately, um, I think it's just better for you to see it like this. Um, I wish there was no restricted ratings because I never show anything inappropriate in these videos, but it is what it is. I know there are some YouTubers out there that actually do wear the products um, and use the products on video and they don't get restricted ratings. So I'm kind of confused by that. But what are we going to do, right? So let's get on to the review. And so there, like I said, this is size medium. And in this package, there are 12. Now, this is, I do believe, uh, the lowest absorbency in the lineup for In Control. I do know there is a cloth back version. They're red in color. I forget what they're called. I think they're cloth back. I'm not sure if the whole diaper is cloth or if it's just the front panel or what. But I think the whole diaper is cloth. These are the red ones I'm talking about. Look it up. Anyways, um, it sounds like they're possibly similar absorbency to these, but they're really not all that low of a absorbency. Like if you compare these to the Abina M4, these are, I would say, almost double the absorbency of those. So they're they're nothing to laugh at. They're pretty they're pretty absorbent for you know being like a light daytime brief. I do believe on the website, they advertise an eight hour capacity and here it just says eight capacity. I'm not sure if that means eight, but I thought on the website it did say eight hour. And it says that they have 4,100 milliliter capacity. I'm kind of guessing based on my usage that it's more around 2,000 to 2,500 milliliters. And they're for um, women and men, of course. Comfort, stretch, waist, and legs. They have tall standing leak guards. I'm just reading off their advertised features. And you can see on the package, there's a lady and a guy. So they are for men and women, of course. And so that's the package. And I will show you the diaper on that I'm wearing. Just got my shirt tucked in so you can see the diaper easier. And so the situation with this particular diaper is that I wore it overnight and I actually did use it to capacity. All the padding is used right up to the very top. And we're gonna do a readjustment um, of the tapes here. And just to show you that they're actually holding Of course, the tapes are always compromised after wearing the diaper for a while, but you could see that they're still holding up really good if you need to adjust them. And I've had no issues with the tape separating from the lower panel, so that is really good. Some adult diapers, you do get strain, more strain on the bottom tapes typically, so they will tend to either pop off on the bottom or separate from the side panel. Even though these are at full capacity, and I will admit they do feel a little bit wet, which is gonna be a normal thing with diapers that are at full capacity. Uh, but like fitment wise, they're super duper comfy. And they're like for a plastic bag, even it has this uh, plastic front re reinforcement zone, and then more of a softer plastic down here. Even being that they're plastic backed, they're actually really, really quiet. And the nice thing about these, being that they aren't necessarily um, as thick as like an overnight diaper, is that they are a bit thinner. And being thinner means that you can wear them 
probably to work, I would say. I would suggest these for wearing to work or even if you're just going out on the town, like downtown or whatever, going shopping, doing your grocery shop and stuff like that. These are gonna be really nice because they can fit discreetly under pants. I'm not gonna do a try on, um, a pants try on today over top of these, just take my word for it. And they do bulk up a little bit when they're wet, which is kind of what you want. Uh, that just means that they're fairly absorbent. And a really great thing about these is you're not gonna know by looking at it in the video, but they do have odor to them. Like they do have a fresh scent. It's I'm kind of having a hard time like thinking of what the scent is, but it's almost like a cross between some sort of a baby powder and like a fruity perfume. Kind of smells, I don't know, it's just really, it's really fresh. It's a nice, fresh, perfumey, baby powdery scent. And so I have actually in the past had a BM, a bowel movement in one of these uh, two different times. And I will tell you that this odor that's built into them does actually help mask the odor for bowel movement. So if you're a person with bowel incontinence, then the built-in scent will actually definitely help with that. Now I did wear one of these diapers um, when I was driving home from work and it's about an hour drive. I have to drop off people most of the time because um, I get a company truck. And so I jumped into the company truck and this is just um, a story about the um, built-in odor protection. I could actually smell, I could tell that the entire truck smelled like this diaper. I don't think my coworker uh, really knew to say anything because he probably just thought it was like um, either some cologne or, or maybe my clothes or he probably, he, maybe he just thought it was like an air fresher in the truck, but uh, he never said anything. So just, just a warning, if you're wearing these and you get into like a vehicle, like a small space with another stranger or a family member or something like that, or coworker, then it's very likely that it's gonna smell up the entire interior of that vehicle or small space. So just something to be aware of. It's a very good fresh scent, but it could, uh, someone will definitely know that either you've got a perfume on or, or something. I don't think the first thing that comes to their mind is that you're wearing a diaper, but just something to be aware of. So it is a very strong scent and not in a bad way. So a really nice thing about this diaper is that you have these different numbers on the front panel. So you have one for the upper tape and one for the lower tape. So once you know how um, far in that you have to put the tape for your body type, it'll, it'll be close to a number and you're gonna wanna, you don't have to necessarily, but I like to line up with these numbers because they're super handy to have. So if you're like a number two on the bottom and a number two or a number three or a number one on the top, you can remember that for next time. So you can get the perfect fit every single time you put this diaper on. And for me, you can see that I am a number one on both sides. When I put it on last night, I was a number one, but because plastic always stretches, now it's beyond the one, but gives you a really, really good fit and extremely soft plastic. You're gonna hear other reviewers overuse the word buttery smooth. Um, this is probably beyond butter, buttery smooth. It's more of like a rubbery plastic. It's um, you know fairly thin and flexible, but also feels very durable at the same time. You also have this wonderful um, wetness indicator. So if you're caregiving after a family member, that needs to wear an adult diaper, then you can see once the diaper has been used, the line actually does turn blue or just fades uh, to nothing sometimes, but for the most part, you can see it's blue. And that's gonna tell you that the diaper has been wet and uh, by how much as well. It doesn't go all the way up to the back, but it's really handy to have that feature. And at no point, uh, during wearing these have I ever become irritated. Some adult diapers with this plastic on the front, um, especially the more premium diapers with heavier absorbency, this can kind of crumple up on the side 
and even if it's not touching your skin directly, the back side of it can irritate your um, hips. Have not had that issue at all with the Rears In Control Essential Brief Diapers. And also about comfort for men, I find with the thicker adult diaper pads, like for me, because I'm a guy, because I have, you know, junk up front in the trunk, it can definitely squeeze all that stuff like with the thick padding and become super uncomfortable, especially while wet and while walking. You should not have a problem when I'm sleeping. However, uh, while I'm walking, all my, my stuff up front can become pretty irritated. So these are also a great option, particularly for men, because they're not too thick. They're really, really, um, the plastic's got a lot of give. And while walking, they honestly just feel like a regular pair of underwear. I know that's strange to say, being that they're a diaper with padding, but you almost literally do not notice that you're wearing these. And so you've got the dual leg gathers, very tall and stout. This is gonna be a great leg gather for heavy urine leakage, as well as a bowel leakage or accidents. And you can see just like, I've got pretty long fingers, long skinny fingers, and you can see just how wide that leg gather is. So this one is gonna also help your bowel movement stay in, uh, but mostly your, um, your urine leakage, especially during like a heavy surge. You can see that this is very soft and stretchy plastic right here. And these leg gathers never ever irritate me down there either. So that's also a good thing. And very, very stretchy and thick, like very tall rear elastic. So that's gonna help keep odors in as well as any other type of leakage. And a very thick and stout front elastic. Some diapers, they don't um, have these, even premium diapers. And a lot of diapers, they're not very stretchy or thick, but these are, and the material is super soft. And I know this has been kind of a long review, uh, but you know what, it's worth it for this diaper. It's just that good. So, and you've got an hourglass shaped pad on the back. So that's gonna help in situations like, cause I'm a back sleeper a lot of the time. So you can see the urine has absorbed out. If the pad just went straight, of course you'd probably have some leakage on the side. So that's really cool. And so being that it's plastic back, that's also gonna help hide odors. It's gonna help with wetness, some cloth back diapers. People say that, you know, the wetness kind of seeps around into the front of the pad on the side in between their legs and stuff like that. And as well as bowel um, issues, if you have that problem, it's gonna help with uh, keeping the odor in. The plastic is gonna help with keeping the odor in on that. And you can see that they don't say too much, but they say just enough. So that would give you a little, uh, for someone experiencing bowel incontinence, it would give you a little pocket right there to do your business in. Um, so it'd be comfortable in that regards. Um, but there's just so many things to talk about with these. The, the main thing with them is comfort. They're 100% comfortable, at least for me and my body type. And you know, the other thing is the ease of adjustability of the tapes and the odor protection that the plastic is gonna provide for you uh, with that built-in scent. That's definitely a win-win. And so with the same brand, they have, this is like their premium diaper. So if you need something more absorbent than this guy here, you can also get this one. This is the Rears uh, or the In Control Hybrid Elite. So this one here is just different in that it's thicker, it's more absorbent, and it has these like Velcro tapes that attach to the front instead of plastic. So the benefit to this one is that if you are a person that actually can make it to the restroom sometimes, or just you know to go number two, you can actually unvelcro those these way easier than these tapes. Now with the tapes, you can slide, you can slide the whole diaper down. It's not a big deal. Uh, but you know, if you're looking for more bladder protection and um, you know, ease of putting the tapes on, taking them off, these are gonna be you know, infinitely adjustable uh, with the Velcro on the front. These are gonna be great. Uh, just keep in mind that the 
These ones are not scented, so um, possibly it might be a little more odor with these and bowel leakage. And the plastic, I believe it or not, on the two of these is actually different, like this plastic versus this plastic. See, this is plastic right here, and then it's a cloth right here. This one's plastic and this one's plastic. But what I'm talking about is this plastic. This one is more of a, I guess more of a, it feels thinner and more rubbery, more plasticky, if you know what I mean, more of a rubbery plastic. And this one is more of a thicker, more stout, doesn't have as much give. So this might even be more durable than this plastic. If it's, you know, for a person that needs a more durable plastic for whatever reason. But I've never had a pinhole leak with these or a tear or anything like that. They're very, you know, secure and that. So I don't really think there's anything more to cover on these. If you guys have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'd be happy to help you guys. Um, once again, I'm sorry that this video ended up most likely being restricted, but you know, that's just the price I have to pay for actually showing the durability of the diaper. Uh, but you know, for most of you that actually wear these diapers, you definitely want to see how they look after usage just based on the fact that, you know, you're going to be probably investing a lot of money in these. Like I, for a case, it was almost 120 bucks for me, right? And then you got shipping possibly and stuff like that. So you definitely want to know what you're getting, how they look after wear from a real world um, situation, like what I'm showing you here. But uh, yeah, I've, if anything stands out with this review, um, Comfort, they're very, very comfortable and, you know, above average absorbency, not as high above absorbency as like, you know, the premium ABDL diapers, which would be, you know, equivalent to this uh, hybrid elite, uh, but they're, but they're definitely a lot way, way, way better than anything you're going to find on grocery store shelves. And, you know, even a lot of the generic medical brands like Abina, they're higher absorbency, higher quality than those and, you know, stronger front panels, stuff like that. So once again, we'll uh, cut the video off here. We're getting a little too into it, I think, but uh, that's going to be good for some of you guys, you know, just to have the details on all this uh, with the diaper. But uh, that's all I got. We'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, you guys.